Here we have 9.1 midpoint of a line segment in the plane. So before we can begin this topic, we need, do need to know what the formula is for midpoint. So we use a capital M to describe the midpoint. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take, it's actually two fractions. It's a midpoint, so it is a coordinate. So you are going to have an x value coordinate and a y value coordinate. And what you're going to do is you're going to take x1 plus x2, compare the x values to get the x coordinate over 2, and then y1 plus y2 over 2. Now because it's addition, it doesn't matter if you use this formula. So if you look online or you look in a book and you happen to see them in the other order, it doesn't matter. They're going to be equivalent because it doesn't matter which uh, term is in front when you add, you're still going to get the same result. Okay. As long as you're just adding the X's together over two and you're adding the Y's together over two, you'll be able to get to the same, the correct answer. So for this one, my midpoint would be two fractions, right? And we're going to take the x values together over 2 and then the y values together over 2. And so then we get negative 2 over 2 and negative 4 over 2, which gives us the point negative 1 comma negative 2 once we simplify those fractions. So this is the midpoint. So essentially what you're doing is you're, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and positive two. Basically what's happening is there's a line here. Oh, thank you. So there's a line there, and in the middle of these two is what you're trying to find, the middle of that line. And it turns out that we got negative one and negative two. So this point right here is the point that is in the middle of the line that connects those two points that were given okay so that's visually what you're calculating but when you do it you don't really graph and then just try to like i just did to find the answer i don't suggest that you do this and then point there and say oh well, that looks like one negative two that's the answer and the reason why i don't suggest you do that is because what if the problem is a fraction right and if you get a fraction, it might not be able to tell so much when you have a graph that this is actually going to have a fraction either in the x coordinate or the y coordinate. So I did this so that you could conceptually, visually connect what we're doing, but don't do this to try, don't graph to try to find the midpoint. Use the formula to find the midpoint.